Here we are, Squawks. This is the hotel we've been told to inspect. Oh, dearie me. It's not looking too promising now, is it, Gareth? Yeah, you're right, Squawks. Let's just hope it doesn't fall down on us when we walk in. Okay, Gareth. This place looks like it's been abandoned for years. Hmm, by the looks of it, it doesn't seem like anyone's here either, Squawks. Did you just hear something, Gareth? Is that a dog? <sighs> Sorry, guys. You're the inspectors, right? Um, who are you supposed to be? Oh, my name's Pudsey. Pleased to meet you. I'm the owner of this here hotel. Seriously, a dog running a hotel? Look, are you discriminating me? I don't really like birds, but you seem to be fine with them. Wait, there's nothing wrong with birds. Look, Pudsey, your hotel just isn't up to our standards, if you ask me. I mean, the whole place seems to be falling apart. It's just not safe for the general public to come visit here. I need to say this. You need to turn this hotel around or we'll be closing it down in one week exactly. You hear me? One week. You need to change this. You need to change this around, Pudsey. You could see you could see no one's coming here as it is. It's terrible. One star reviews, so this hotel will be shut down if you don't do something about it quick. What? You can't shut down this hotel. This hotel means everything to me. It's been passed down through generations of my family. Please, I'll do anything to keep this hotel up. Well, as I just said, you have one week exactly. If you don't, if you haven't changed this place by one week, goodbye. Goodbye, Pudsey's Hotel, my friend. All right, that, I'll be seeing you in a week. See you later. What am I going to do with this place? <laughs> Um, could we have like another four black current cordials, please? Seriously, another four cordials? You guys are really going to be needing the toilet tonight. Yeah, probably will, but I just can't get enough of that black current cordially goodness, if you know what I mean. <sighs> probably four pound, man. Guys, I got the black current cordials. Richard, isn't drinking ten cordials in a row a bit of a bad idea? Nah, I think it's a great idea, to be honest. Plus, Susan kind of needs to drink these cordials, otherwise she'll die. That's true. Did I call you, Richard? <gasps> ah, delicious. Richard, you could just give her tap water. They give that away for free. Eh, uh, who drinks water? Boring people. That's who. Water is the most boring drink in the world. And that's lot. We're the opposite of boring. Sorry, everyone, but it's time to close the hotel for the night. Finish your meals and drinks and then be off, okay? Oh man, I wanted to stay with this place for longer. Oh well, I guess it is getting late anyway. See you in the morning, Richard. Keep an eye on Susan. You don't want Moxie spotting her. Oh, I will. I'll disguise her as a rucksack quickly. What? How do you do that? I'm a makeup artist. Ah, uh, finally back to our room. You can take your disguises off now, guys. No, I'm free! Let's take off this stupid disguise. Alright, Susan, I've run you a bath, yeah? So, you can go in the bath. Just try and keep the noise down. We don't want to get in trouble, okay? Okay, Richard. Good night, Richard. Oh, and good night, Curly. And the name's Screech, but not anyway. Night, guys. It's no use. My hotel will be gone by the end of the week. Oh, look at Moxie's hotel. What's he doing right that I'm doing so wrong? Well, actually, now that I think about it, I suppose she has a lot of money. And I only have 50p. So he gets to buy all these nice stuff for the guests, like fancy restaurants like Weatherspoons, and having swimming pools and all that good stuff, while all I've got is a manky rotten hotel. And that's it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm gonna rob Moxie's hotel. Oh, it's locked, isn't it? Silly me. Yes, I'm in the hotel. Hopefully me smashing the glass open wasn't too loud. Hmm, this place is massive though. I wonder where Moxie keeps all his money. He probably hides it somewhere you wouldn't expect, unfortunately. 
I wonder if he keeps it behind this door which says money room on it. Eh, it's unlikely, but it's worth a try. Wah well, hey, I'm rich, rich I tell you. I can finally save my hotel. Ah, what a lovely day. A perfect day to check on my money room. Ugh, it's empty. Who did this? What am I gonna do? Good morning, guys. Do you have a good sleep? Yeah, Richard, it was not too bad, actually. It was the best night ever. I love sleeping in a bar. Good to hear, guys. So if you get your disguises on quick, we can go down and get some breakfast. We can go swimming or something later, yeah? Huh? What's this? The weather spoons appears to be closed. Richard, I have some bad news. Well, what happened? Moxie has told me that the hotel's money room has been robbed. Without this money, Moxie can't afford to keep the hotel running. What? That's terrible! We have to find out who's responsible for this! Richard, there's a trail of coins on the floor. Maybe that leads to the direction to the criminal. Ah, smart thinking, Screech. Um, Cully. Yeah, we'll, we'll follow the trail, yeah? So the gang set off on their quest to find the thief and take back Moxie's money. So the trail ends here, huh? And it's another hotel. Hmm, I suppose whoever runs this hotel is looking for a bit of money to do the place up, eh? Dollar, 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 dollar. I love my money, me. Fish lot, I can make the hotel of my dreams. Oh, Dad would be so proud if he saw me now. Stop right there. Uh, who's that? You there. Give us back the money you stole from Moxie. Um, I didn't steal no money. Um, if you could just politely leave now. No, we're not gonna leave until you give us that money back. If that's the case, we're gonna have to fight. <laughs> Be enough, a dog. That's nothing. Maybe weak in my regular dog form, but in my mecha suit, I become Pudzilla. <laughs> So that's what you wasted all your budget on. Shut it. Let's battle. Time to become my ultimate form. Wait, DJ for Electrical has an ultimate form? He's an onion? Guess we better join him, eh, Squeege? Does that mean I have an ultimate form too? No, Susan, you're a shark, not an onion, at least I think, anyway. Don't worry, we'll all beat up this guy real quick, like, it's only meta, it'll be proper weak. Take this. Uh, what have you done to my suit? It's not responding to my controls. Hmm, maybe I could help with that. Take this. Oh no, my suit's already breaking, and I spent thousands on this thing. Time to finish it all off with the screen, Sizzler. No, my suit, it's melting. Oh, you beat me. I guess that means my hotel's over then. A screech, I didn't realise you had firepowers. That's awesome. And you're an onion too? How is this even possible? I didn't realise you guys were onions. It's nice for someone to finally understand me for once. I know of a feeling. Humans and them, well, dogs, they just don't understand, do they? Guys, keep the chit chat till later. Let's go and give this money back to Moxie quick. I don't want, I want to get home before the swimming pool closes, yeah? Oh, true. I'll quickly turn back into my regular form. Thank you guys so much for getting back the money. To celebrate, free cordials on the house. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm gonna have like 30 black currant cordials. I'm gonna have loads of cordials. It's gonna be the new big trend on the internet. It's called the cordial challenge. You have to drink as many cordials as possible. This is the best day ever. Hashtag cordial challenge. Oh man, give me a break. I guess my hotel's gone then. Oh well, it's not as if anyone will stay in there anyway. Thinking about it, that hotel turned me into a monster. I thought I was the hero, but stealing money from Moxie, he may be my rival, but that just isn't right. I better apologise to Moxie and his friends, really.
I understand if they don't forgive me, but I have to turn things oh, right. Oh, um, you there, you're Moxie's friend, right? Uh, no, not you again. Look, I made a huge mistake stealing that money from Moxie. I don't know what was going through me. I'm normally the good guy. I mean, just look at my movie. I'm a hero. But I was just thinking of myself because I love my hotel and how much it means to me. I don't want to be a villain and I really just want to apologise. I can see it deep in your eyes that you really feel sorry for what you did and that you and your actions and that you want to make a change and be a good dog. You know, I forgive you because I've seen your movie and I know who you can be. You just wasn't thinking right. We all make mistakes sometimes and and we can all turn right. I mean, just look at Potato Grandad and now he's one of my cool friends. Pudsy, I trust you. You can change and you can be an inspiration to the world again. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, without this hotel, I can start afresh and I can go back to doing the things that I love, like doing tricks and saving the day and making new friends and giving smiles to people's faces. Thank you so much. My pleasure, Pudsy. I'll see you in a bit. i got a bit of a cordial challenge to do and maybe I'll, I'll catch up with you later, yeah? <laughs>